Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and today I will be reviewing the interior of the 2021 Honda City V-Spec. So this is my first time in the Honda City and I'm excited to review the interior of this car and I will do something different because normally I will just review on one car at a time but Today, I think I want to compare this car to the Proton Persona MC2 in terms of the interior. I know that uh, these two cars are not really apple to apple comparison because the Honda City V Spec is way more expensive than the Proton Persona MC2. In fact, I think th there's about 30,000 ringgit difference, right? But I guess it would be rather interesting, you know. To compare the interior of these two cars and I think people would be interested to know if the Proton Persona MC2 interior is uh, you know up to the standard I guess right so maybe we can find out what the Proton Persona MC2 excels at or is better than the Honda City V-Spec although I think overall the Honda City V-Spec has got a better interior right but I guess it's interesting to find out if there are some things that the Proton Persona MC2 is better right so without further ado let's get into it all right let's start with the door so overall the Honda City has got a better door uh, it's heavier and I feel that it's more sturdy compared to the Proton Persona MC2 because the Proton Persona MC2 has got a slightly, you know, uh, hollow kind of feeling but this door feels really solid and it's heavier than the Proton Persona and it's, I think, uh, it's built better, right? So the plastic quality here is almost similar to the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 but I think uh, it's a bit better in quality, I feel. But I think it's almost similar. And the door handle here, uh, it feels nice. It's definitely better than the Proton Persona MC2. And you can see that this white part here is actually wrapped in leather. Okay, so uh, it looks really good. It has the panda theme going on. Uh, white you know white leather black plastic so uh, it looks really good okay and here we have the controls it's for the side mirror and this for the power window uh, pretty standard nothing that special but still it, it's better than the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 in my opinion and down here we got like a speaker and even this one is also better than the Proton Persona and this part I feel is rather small I don't know if you can put, if you can put a huge water bottle but I think a medium sized water bottle you can fit in here uh, but this one, this part I think the Proton Persona MC2 you know, has got bigger space I think, bigger compartment but anyway, the design of the door looks so much better than the ones in the Proton Persona and it's much more uh, sturdy, you know, it's built better so when you close the door yeah, it has got a very solid sound as when you compare it to the Proton Persona it kind of feels a bit like a, a bit of the thin kosong feel, you know yeah, because the Proton Persona MC2 doors are a bit hollow but this one feels a bit heavier so when you close the door yeah it's more how to say it's more refined and sometimes the Proton Persona MC2 doors you have to close it really hard because sometimes if you don't put enough force it don't close properly yeah but for this one no problem you don't need to put a lot of force into it you can just you know uh, close the door like normal and it will shut tight so this one is really good i really like the doors of the 
Honda CDV spec if you compare it to the Proton Persona MC2, right? Right here we have the uh, Twitter, okay. Yeah, the side mirror looks pretty good as well. In my opinion, it's better than Proton Persona, okay. Next, we move to the steering wheel, and I can say that the steering wheel on this car feels really nice. Uh, it's wrapped in leather, and it's actually smaller than the Proton Persona MC2 steering wheel. Uh, it's slimmer, and it's smaller in size. I think the Proton Persona one is a bit fatter, and it's actually bigger. Okay, but this one feels nice. I like the feeling. But the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 is also quite comfortable to, to grip, you know. But this one, in my opinion, is better. And then we have the Honda logo here, which looks really nice. And then uh, here we have the buttons for the you know, radio or infotainment system. So this is the volume button. And the button feels really good as well. So it's really well made, you know. It's not wobbly or anything because some cars, you know, when you press the button, it's uh, not sturdy. It's moving around, you know, especially the ones on the CX-5. But this one feels really good. I really like the buttons. It's solid. It doesn't move around, you know, it's well made. So overall, good quality buttons, in my opinion. And also this car comes with a pedal shifter obviously the proton persona mc2 don't have this feature so this one is yeah it's definitely nice to have okay here we got the airbag So this car has got six airbags, if I'm not mistaken, similar to the Proton Persona MC2. So you got uh, two airbags in the front, and then two curtain airbags, I think, and then uh, another two at the side. So together are six. Yeah. So it's great that the Proton Persona has got six airbags. Yeah, for a car that is below 60k and then we look at the dashboard okay so as you can see I think the dashboard quality is similar to the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 because the plastic you know the, the way the plastic feels the quality I think it's almost similar to the ones on the Proton Persona it's not soft touch it's just hot plastic Okay. Yeah, even this part is plastic. And the aircon vents, I feel that the design is okay, but I prefer the design on the Proton Persona. For some reason, I think it's more futuristic looking, the ones on the Proton Persona. But this one is not bad. I mean, looks can be subjective. Some people like this look. But me personally, I prefer the ones on the Proton Persona, right? Yeah, so uh, it's good. The quality is good. I can. Okay, air vents. Yeah, they feel really solid. Pretty good quality, in my opinion. Okay. And then this part here, yeah, it's wrapped in leather, similar to ones on the door. So it's a nice, a nice touch. Okay, the Proton Rosana. MC2 obviously don't have this so overall the quality of the dashboard is better on the Honda CTV spec and as expected you know because you pay more for this car so obviously it has to have some sort of you know premium things on it and this one is like a you know piano black glossy plastic uh, I think it's a fingerprint magnet I don't really like this part but okay then you open the glove box compartment okay nothing that special pretty much the same it's not 
self opening. Then we go here, and here we have got the lever for the wiper, standard stuff. And this one is for your lights. So there is auto lighting here, so it's pretty good. Okay, which the how to say? Uh, I think the Proton Persona MC2 also got auto lighting, but this one is a bit special because this one has got this smart lighting. I think it knows how to adjust uh, your lights at night, especially when you are driving, you know, towards other drivers. So it knows how to adjust the lighting. Maybe if someone is close enough, it will, you know, dim out the, the lights a little. Yeah, so I think in terms of the lighting technology, Honda City is way better than the ones on the Proton Persona MC2. And here is the push start button. Okay. So the push start button obviously looks way better than the Proton Persona MC2. This one is like, it's got a very nice, you know, transparent plastic, I think. I'm not sure is if it's glass or plastic, but it's, I think it's plastic, but it has the, you know, it looks like some sort of glass. Yeah, but it looks really nice. And yeah, it if you press the brakes, it will light up. Yeah, this one feels way better than the ones on Proton Persona because the Proton Persona one just have got a you know cheap plastic button, and this one is way better and it looks more premium. Yeah. And next we go to the instrument cluster. So let's start the car. All right. So as you can see, the Honda City V Spec is still using uh, semi analog, and also it has this small screen in the middle, which is digital. But I think the RS variant has got a full digital meter. If I'm not wrong okay but this one is still using a combination of the analog and digital which is similar to the Proton Persona MC2 except this one you only have a single color so it's not a color screen but the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 has got like a color digital screen so I, th I guess if you look at it that way I think the Proton Persona MC2 is better in terms of this small display screen, right? Overall, if you compare the design of the instrument cluster, you know, between the Proton Persona MC2 and the Honda City, I guess they are pretty similar in design because they got the analog RPM meter and the analog uh, speedometer and a small middle digital screen in terms of design they are pretty similar although I think the ones on the Proton Persona is more uh, interesting looking it looks better because it has a color screen compared to this one this one only has a single color screen which is a bit outdated if you ask me yeah so in terms of the digital screen in the middle I think the Proton Persona MC2 is better okay and so this button right here I think you can use this to change some of the information on the screen okay yeah pretty standard stuff next we move to the center console okay so this part I think it's very subjective, you know, because um, some people prefer the more minimalistic look 
uh, because Honda is a Japanese car so I guess the design is more simple compared to the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 uh, but if you ask me I prefer the looks on the Proton Persona MC2 because it's more modern I feel compared to this car the design is more safe yeah it's safer it's kind of like a safer design uh, very Japanese minimalistic look okay some people like it but overall I think I prefer the look on the Proton Persona MC2 because it has like a floating display yeah so the the screen on this car is more traditional looking in my opinion because the newer cars usually have the floating infotainment screen like the ones on the Proton X50 some of the Mazda cars yeah but overall it still looks really good it looks really clean and the buttons are responsive okay it's well made And here we have the aircon controls. It has got the tactile feedback. So okay. Yeah, I really like the feels of the, the controls here. Okay, it feels really nice to touch. But for some reason I if you compare the aircon controls between the Honda City and the Proton Persona MC2 I would rather have the controls on the Proton Persona MC2 because it looks uh, more, more modern it looks more futuristic the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 so in my opinion I think the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 looks better okay but this one is not bad it looks kind of nice as well okay and then we have the uh, power outlets okay so you have a 12 volt socket here and two USB sockets here okay so this one is obviously for you to plug in your cable so you can uh, connect your phone to the system and access the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto okay because this car comes with those features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which the Proton Persona MC2 don't have so in that way this car is better if you compare the infotainment system All right and here you have a small compartment which you can put I don't know I think you can put a small phone but you can't really put like a you know an iPhone Pro Max. Yeah, you can't really fit that here. I think small phone. Okay. Here we have some small compartment as well. Two cup holders. Okay. Yeah, but if you compare this to the Proton Persona MC2, Proton Persona MC2 has got four USB slots. Yeah, so it's kind of you know if you if you are the type who uses a lot of USB slots, the Proton Persona MC2 will be better because uh, the Proton Persona has got three USB slots here in front, and then it has one USB slot on top for you to you know install your dash cam, which is pretty handy. Yeah, but this one you don't have a USB slot on top. So you have to reroute the dash cam wire somewhere else, right? Yeah. So in terms of practicality, I think the um, Proton Persona MC2 is better. But usually I don't think you need a lot of USB slots. I think two is good enough. One for your, your device and the other one for charging. I think normally two is good enough. one I don't really want to connect my phone to the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay right now because I only have one phone which is 
this phone that I'm using to record this video. Okay, so I can't really test out the infotainment system. But overall, um, I think it's pretty good. Uh, but I cannot test out the smoothness of the user interface and whatnot. Okay. But I think it should be better than the ones on the Proton Persona Because the ones on the Proton Persona I think is a bit laggy And sometimes it's not really smooth when you scroll or when you open different apps at one time It's a bit slow But I guess this one if you're using Android Auto or Apple CarPlay I think It's gonna be really smooth So it's gonna be a better experience Okay Let's try the radio Okay, I guess the sound is just okay. Um, I can't really test the full t potential of the speakers, but I guess it will sound really good. Probably better than the ones on the Proton Persona. I mean, these are just, you know, normal uh, stock car speakers, I guess. But the Proton Persona MC2 has got something special that the Honda City V-Spec don't which is the High Proton feature So it's basically a voice command feature where you can use it to, you know, uh, control some of the things in the car For example, your power window, your aircon speed, uh, what else? change the songs, play music, uh, bring up the GPS, na navigate it to somewhere, you know. So in terms of um, the system intelligence, I think the Proton Persona MC2 is a bit more special because I think for a car that is below 60k, the infotainment system in the Proton Persona 2 is rather quite intelligent because you can use voice command feature without having to connect your phone to the infotainment system so it's pretty smart you can use you know uh, your voice command to activate a lot of different things in the car okay but for this car you don't really have voice command feature unless you connect your phone the system and then you can use the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay I guess yeah so if you're talking about the voice command feature then I guess the Proton Persona MC2 is a bit more special because it has the uh, feature while as the Honda City you only get you know the normal manual controls where you have to press it with your own hands and only if you connect your phone to the system then probably you can use the voice feature command using your phone right yeah so next let's check out the camera capabilities of this car so for those who don't know this car comes with like a honda land watch i guess where you can you know when you turn on your signal lights if you turn to the left, you can actually see the traffic, incoming traffic on your left, which is really good. For example, let me signal to the left, right? And immediately you can see that there is a camera on the left side mirror. I guess this is a good feature to have. Uh, it's a good safety feature, to be honest. Uh, because when you want to change lane, you can see, you know, cars coming from behind, so It's good. It's a good feature because sometimes when you rely on your Side mirror, you can't really see because of the blind spot, but this one, you know It gives you extra vision so you can see incoming cars from behind. Yeah So yeah, this is a very good feature which the Proton Persona MC2 don't have 
Yeah, so obviously in this department, the Honda City V-Spec is so much more superior, right? But in terms of the uh, camera quality, the image quality, I think it's okay. It's not the best. Yeah, but it gets the job done. Okay. And now let's check out the reverse camera because uh, the reverse camera on the Proton Persona MZ2 is actually quite good if you ask me but the only problem is that the ones on the Proton Persona is very laggy so sometimes when you use it uh, it's not really smooth okay but the ones on the Honda CD let's check it out Let's reverse this car. Okay. Uh, so I think the reverse camera on the Honda City is so much smoother than the ones on the Proton Persona. I don't think it has any lag. So it's not jittery, it's not laggy, it's really smooth. So in that way, I think the Honda CD reverse camera is better, even though the image quality is lacking a bit. But overall, uh, overall the usability, you know, the practicality, I think the Honda CD takes the win. Okay. But the lines here, I think the ones on the Proton Persona is better because this one is only single color, yellow lines. But the ones on the Proton Persona has got different colors. I think here you got green, yellow, and then if you're too close, it has like a red line, if not, I'm not mistaken, right? So uh, if you're talking about this guiding lines, I think the ones on the Proton Persona is better. And okay, what I don't like about the Honda City V-Spec, you know, uh, reverse camera lines is that these lines are static, you know, it can't really move. Usually, when you turn your steering wheel, right, the lines will uh, follow your steering direction. Uh, but this car, for some reason, the camera lines is just static so whichever way you turn your steering wheel is gonna stay the same so I think this is a disadvantage because it's harder to park your cars like that but the lines on the Proton Persona MC2 is actually better because when you move your steering wheel on the Proton Persona MC2 the uh, reverse camera lines also follow the direction of your steering wheel which means if you turn your steering wheel to the right uh, the lines will follow so it's easier to park your car you, you know how to estimate your car better so i think it's more practical to have those uh, moving lines right so if you look at it that way the proton persona mc2 is better because it's got the you know the reverse camera lines that actually move with the direction of your steering wheel but for the Honda City for a car that is 90,000 ringgit uh, this one is quite disappointing right because they have the static reverse camera lines which is not really helpful to be honest it's better to have those lines that can you know change the direction based on your steering wheel okay so that's about the infotainment system okay and if we go down further to the center console this part is actually quite nice i like the design of the center console here and the gear knob is very comfortable okay it's kind of nice there's no complaints it's simple and you got the no P R N D S. Okay. 
and you have got a eco mode which is good you know it's always good to have eco mode you can save extra fuel if you need to right but of course in terms of um, fuel efficiency I think the Honda City is way way better than the Proton Persona MC2 because the Honda City is one of the most fuel efficient cars and the Proton Persona MC2 is not that fuel efficient right so if you look at it that way of course the Honda City is better okay so if we move downwards to this part you got some space to put some I don't know, you can put like a book uh, Some keys maybe But other than that, this part is too small I don't think you can put a lot of things in. I mean, You can maybe put a book or your parking coupon or whatever Yeah. And it's still using the traditional handbrake lever Okay it's the same as the Proton Persona MC2 But I think the uh, Honda City RS version has got like a Automatic electronic handbrake Where you just need to press the button to activate the hand handbrakes But this one is still using the traditional handbrakes okay. I prefer the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 because it looks more um, modern looking i feel uh because it's more simple on the proton persona mc2 and it looks a lot more futuristic compared to this one this one is very um how to say traditional looking but in terms of quality of course this one has better quality right and the ones on the proton persona 2 this part uh you can put some cups i think the cup holders are somewhere here on the proton persona mc2 which is not that practical okay this one the cup holders are here which is uh, which makes more sense okay but anyway if you talk about the layout the design the ones on the uh, proton persona mc2 is better looking in my opinion but like i said looks can be subjective some people like this design, okay. But in terms of quality, this one is way better, okay. And there's got some leather wrapping here, which is good. And this one is some piano glossy black plastic, which is a fingerprint magnet, okay. Similar to the ones on the Proton Persona MC2. And here we have got something very similar between both cars. Because the Proton Persona MC2 also got an armrest, which is kind of similar like this one, but this one I think is a bit bigger in size. It's a bit wider compared to the ones on the Proton Persona, but the quality is almost the same in terms of feel. They are both really comfortable, and it's really a good thing to have an armrest. So, yeah, this one is a really good feature to have. And I can say that the ones on the Proton Persona is comparable to this one. And as usual, you can put some stuff in here. Okay, but I'm not sure if they have a socket. But the ones on the Proton Persona, they, there, there is a 12 volt socket in here. Uh, but it's okay. Okay, next we check out the headliner. Uh, this one, the material is similar to the ones on the Proton Persona. Okay, so pretty standard stuff, nothing too special. And the sun visor is the same. I think the quality is kind of similar, although I think the build quality on the Honda City is better than the ones in the Proton Persona MC2. But this one is pretty standard, you know, there's a mirror here nothing too special this one you can put your cards yeah pretty standard stuff just that the quality is better than ones on Proton Persona okay so this is your mirror nothing too special and your 
cabin lamps. Uh, I think this one still using the yellow lights. Um, in terms of look and design, I feel that the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 looks better in my opinion because it has like a modern design. This one is kind of like you know old school. So it's got like an old design in my opinion. I don't really like the design of these lamps here. I feel that the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 is better. Okay. But for the Proton Persona MC2, you only have the lamps in front. But for the Honda CD V spec, you have an extra lamp in the middle, which is a good thing, right? Because uh, people sitting behind, whenever they need the lamp, they can switch this on. But the Proton Persona MC2, you don't have that, so the people sitting behind, you don't really have the uh, luxury to use a rear lamp. And next, we talk about one of the most important feature in the car interior, which is the seat. Okay, so overall, I think the seat on the Honda City V Spec is really comfortable, guys. So these are leather seats, but they are black in color, and the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 are leathered seats brown in color but in terms of comfort i think the honda city uh, v-spec has got a slightly more comfortable seat uh, because it's a bit um softer if you compare the ones on the proton persona mc2 but to be honest the ones on the proton persona mc2 is also quite comfortable in fact it's very comfortable for me uh, the only difference is the shape and the design of the seat the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 is more uh, simple looking but this one has got a nice shape nice design but in terms of the material I think uh, leather seats the texture you know the feel I think this one is a bit better if you compare to the leatherette seats that are on the Proton Persona MC2 because the leatherette seats are a bit more slippery this one has got a bit more uh, how to say it's got a bit more texture so it's got some grip to it but overall if you talk about the comfort of both seats I think the Proton Persona MC2 has got a comfortable seat as well yeah, but if you're talking about the design and whatnot, I prefer the ones on the Honda City. But it's not to say that the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 is not good. But I would say in this category, I would say that both cars are actually uh, doing pretty good, to be honest. They both have really comfortable seats. So if you buy the Proton Persona MC2, I can safely say that uh, their seats are really comfortable as well. So... Uh, it's worth the money to be honest okay but in terms of the color I still prefer the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 because it has like a uh, brown color uh, seat so it has some I mean it gives some contrast to the interior so uh, I think I prefer the brown seats on the Proton Persona but in terms of the material the seat design I prefer the ones on the Honda City yeah so this one is very difficult to say I think both cars have got really comfortable seats okay but this one right here you can see that it's perforated you can see some tiny holes here uh, similar to the ones in the Proton Persona MC2 they also have got some uh, perforation on their leather seats right so overall these are really comfortable seats so i think if i'm driving long distances i would have no problems you know because these seats are really comfortable yeah 
Oh yeah, and before I forget, the headrests on these seats are actually more comfortable than the ones on the Proton Personal MC2, right? Because the, the design itself is more practical compared to the ones on the Proton Personal MC2. Yeah. And then we talk about the safety belts. Uh, this one, it seems that you cannot really adjust the height. Whereas the Proton Personal MC2, you can actually, you know, adjust the height of the seat belt. So I think if you're talking about a seat belt, I think the Proton Personal MC2 is better because you can adjust the height. This one, I think you can just adjust the angle, but not really the height. And now let's check out the seat belt buckle. Uh, I feel that the buckle quality on this car is better than the ones on the Proton Personal MC2, right? Uh, because the ones on the Proton Personal MC2, the buckle is actually planted deeper to the seat. So sometimes when you want to fasten your seat belt, it's very difficult because the buckle is so deep in there. And when you want to, you know, put in your seat belt, it's so hard to reach it. So sometimes you struggle to, you know, fasten your seat belt properly. And you you waste a lot of time trying to find the exact angle to put in the you know the seat belt so that's why i think it's not really practical the ones on the pattern personal mc2 this one is better because it's uh it's more accessible so it's easier for you to strap on your seat belt yeah so in terms of the seat belt buckle this one is way better than pattern persona because it's more practical So as you can see, uh, the Honda CDB spec is still using the manual seats. So if you want to adjust your seats, this is where you make your adjustments, right? Pretty standard stuff. Similar to the ones on the Proton Persona MC2, so uh, there's not much of a difference there. And this is where you... This is the lever for you to open the car boot and down here is for you to open the petrol cap and this is for your engine bonnet okay and down here is your brake pedal and accelerator and I feel that Honda should do a better job covering up those things because it looks really messy I feel that they could have pulled the carpet up more but if you look at the finish and the workmanship I think uh, it's a bit disappointing for a car that is 90,000 ringgit you know they should at least have the carpet pulled up more to cover more parts you know because this one looks pretty cheap yeah So there's also a small compartment here for you to put something, your smart tag or something. Alright, now I'm at the back seat and as you can see, the back door is of course way better than the ones on the Proton Persona MC2. Just like the front doors, the quality is so much better and this part you can see that it's wrapped in white leather so it has a really nice coloring to it nice theme panda panda theme black and white i really like this i really like the design of this car compared to the proton persona mc2 right so the back door of course it's better than the ones on the proton persona mc2 and next let's check out the leg room and as you can see, there is a lot of leg room in this car. Uh, I am actually 175 cm tall. And this front seat has already been adjusted to my usual driving position. And you can see that I still have got a lot of space 
So the leg room on this car is impressive. I think Honda is really good at you know uh, making spaces in their car. So they're really good in creating more space even in small smaller cars. So uh, Honda is always good at doing these things. So if you compare the leg rooms between both cars, obviously the Honda City wins because it has more leg rooms. Okay, so you can move your feet more in this car. You have more space to, you know, uh, move your feet. Yeah. So if you check out the distance between my knee and the front seat, okay, you can see that have at least one two three at least three feet of length you know between my knee and the front seat so that's a lot of knee room guys and of course if you're talking about the space then I guess the Prozo Persona MC2 don't even come close So yeah, talking about the leg rooms, knee room, of course, you have to give it to the Honda City V-Spec. It's an easy win, okay? And behind here, there are some, you know, pockets for you to keep your stuff. I think this one is pretty similar to the ones on the Proton Persona MC2 because the Proton Persona MC2 also got similar leather you know leather seat pockets like this so you can put in some stuff uh, i really i really prefer your pockets like this over the ones that you know some cars have got the net pockets so the ones are not really good in my, in my opinion uh, they're not as durable as this one and this one is also really clean looking so it looks better than the, than the ones using the net Right, so yeah. In terms of the back pockets, I think both cars are similar. They both have back pockets, so it's a good thing, in my opinion. Okay. And then we have an aircon van behind here, which means it's more comfortable for the back passengers because you get. Uh, aircon blowing out from this vent so it's you know it's more cooling in the Honda V-Spec Honda City V-Spec okay as for the Proton Persona MC2 you don't have any back aircon vent so uh, the back passengers will feel you know a bit hot behind especially on a really hot day but this one you have aircon vent so it will blow out some aircon so it's a good thing the back passengers will feel a bit more cool compared to the Prada Persona MC2. So if we are talking about the back seat comfort, I think the Honda City V-Spec, you know, is way more comfortable than the Proton Persona MC2. Yeah. And below here we have two more. 12 volt sockets which I don't know why you need a lot of 12 volt sockets maybe for you to vacuum or something but I, th I feel that they should have at least one USB slot behind or at least two USB slots uh, maybe two USB slots and one 12 volt socket would be nice uh, for the Proton Persona MC2 you have two USB slots behind so uh, for me, I prefer to have two USB slots behind because usually people sitting behind, if they want to charge their phone, they can just plug in the USB slot here. But for this car, if you want to charge your phone, you can't really do that because you don't have any USB slots behind. You only have two 12 volt sockets. But this one is very good if you are the ones who enjoys cleaning your car often. You can plug your vacuum here, which is good. So if you ask me, I think the, the two USB slots in the Proton Persona is more, how to say, it's more practical and it's more useful compared to two 
12 volt sockets yeah. it's just my opinion Alright, so the Honda City has got four safety handles. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. Okay, uh, but the Proton Persona MC2 only have three handles, which is one, two, and three. So the front driver side don't really have a safety handle for the Proton Persona MC2. Okay, but in terms of quality, they are pretty similar, if you ask me. I think this one is only slightly better in quality, in my opinion, but they are not so much different, okay? Yeah. And next, we talk about the headroom of this car. Uh, I think the Honda City has got a, um, you know, a lower roof, so there's not much headroom in this car, especially when I'm sitting the back seat so I am 175 cm tall and I think that I don't really have a lot of headroom uh, in fact I only have three fingers you know worth of headroom left yeah so it's not much headroom on this car in my opinion whereas in the Proton Persona MC2 it has a higher roof so it has uh, better headroom so I think you at least have uh, five fingers worth of headroom easily on the Proton Persona MC2. Yeah So if you're someone really tall, I think uh, Maybe you would want to you know adjust your sitting position because uh, Your head might hit the roof of this car. Yeah, so there is one downside of this car because it has quite a low uh, Roof, okay, so there's not much headroom in this car Now let's talk about the back seats. Okay, overall, the Honda City has got a more comfortable back seat. Okay, because uh, first of all, the design of the back seat is uh, better in my opinion compared to the Proton Persona MC2. It's not to say that the Proton Persona MC2 don't really have a comfortable seat, but uh, the Honda City has got more features to be honest. For example, the Honda City has got this middle armrest which you can, you know, pull down and you can put two cups here. Proton Persona MC2 don't really have this middle armrest, okay, so this is a plus. And then you actually get some headrest which the Proton Persona MC2 don't really have. Uh, it has a small place for you to rest your neck and your lower head. But I think uh, the Honda City is more comfortable because it has got a uh, proper headrest. Yeah, so it's very comfortable when you rest your head here. But the thing is, I don't think you can adjust the height of this headrest. So it's in a way, it's also pretty similar to the Proton Persona MC2 because you don't have an adjustable headrest but at least this one is bigger than the Proton Persona MC2 it, it's higher too which means you can properly rest your head here whereas the Proton Persona MC2 is you know the headrest is kind of low I think it's like uh, half of this okay half of this so basically you can't really rest your head properly yeah so in terms of the back seat I think the Honda City is more comfortable, okay? And here you got some isofix two. Okay, so here you have two isofix sockets, okay? Here, here, yeah, so pretty standard, nothing that special. Some hot 
plastic here so this part is basically better than the ones on the Proton Proton MC2 because the Proton Proton MC2 has got like a you know cardboard uh, cardboard cutout but this one is plastic so this one is way way better all right guys that's all for now i hope that this video has been beneficial for all of you especially if you are considering to buy the honda city or the proton persona mc2 and if you find this content useful please give it a like and also do consider subscribing to my channel for future contents thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the future take care and peace out